We leave New York City a few times, and you will see, you will meet some of Susie's family. You will see some people outside of our normal group. All of Midge Maisel's worlds start colliding: her work life and her family life, um, and the relationship between Susie and Midge is tested uh, over and over again. There's ups and downs, and it's strengthened. They kind of, they've kind of decided to make this relationship work together a working relationship but it's a lot like a relationship they have to see if it's an odd couple like can they can they make it work it really helps the wardrobe and the, the set design and when we go on location everything's 1950s that really helps it, it, you feel like you're there my favorite part about being on the show is it's um, it's a quality project it's beautiful it feels like being a part of a, a giant collage I think Amy and Dan write dialogue that people fall in love with. So I think the script is really strong with how wordy it is and how smart it is. And then I think when you add in the time period, it's fun. But yet, some of the issues that Midge is facing still feel very relevant today. When you catch lightning in a bottle, nobody can really diagnose why. Because if we could figure out why, everybody would Right, a hit show, right? It's just a magical moment. Obviously, it starts with Amy and Dan's writing. Um, they're, they're geniuses. Um, and then you couple that with a cast like this. It's a dream come true to say these words and be surrounded by actors like this. I'm not just saying this. Season two stepped up its game. If it's possible, season two is even better. Very excited that uh, I can uh, finally stop hearing the screaming, yelling. When is season two coming? Uh, yeah, we're unbelievably excited that it's finally here. Just know that the universe of uh, Maisel is expanded, more daring, more uh, exciting, more glamorous, more marvelous. There, I said it. Acting the Paladino is brilliant dialogue is the challenge for me. I'm not used to talking so fast or so much. Or eight page oneers with no coverage, so get it in one. I came from stand-up comedy, not from theater, so I don't know from this memorized 10 pages crap. Uh, the favorite part really is the whole entire job. Yeah, every part of it is sort of magical and um, challenging and insanely rewarding. New York City, I think, is my big appeal, you know, the magnetism of that, the punch of it. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, period uh, costumes are, uh, make people salivate a bit, but I think uh, its heart has to be the real gut punch, you know. It's also incredible to, to try to perform it, you know, uh, Amy and Dan both work, they try to get everything in one take, so it really calls upon us to not uh, you know use any tricks we really have to treat it as though it's a play you know, and uh, get that rhythm down it's really fun you walk away feeling very very chuffed at the end of the day yeah I think there's gonna be a little more uh, geographical journeys um, and I think um, yes we're gonna watch Midge evolve into the woman she's meant to become In this particular time, we need joy, we need celebration. I think this is a piece that reminds us of what an old musical from the 50s or 40s uh, was like. I think there's also an incredible need to have inspirational women. And in the character that Rachel Brosnahan plays, let's face it, that is a woman that we can all look to as inspiration. <laughs> The rapid-fire dialogue, which I had seen in Gilmore Girls, was something that I had watched and thought, is it even possible for mere mortals to attempt to do this? And when I got the role and we would go and perform, she would say, a little faster, a little faster, a little faster. But the truth is, she's so brilliant, and her characters have to be that wise as well. So I just sort of have to step up my game for her work, and, and I'm so lucky to be saying her words and Dan's words.
that credit goes to Donna Zakowska, who's a genius, who does our costume designs, and to Bill Groom, who does all the production, and of course again to Amy and Dan, because the, and to our hair and makeup people, because the truth is that I think I have about this much to do with what's happening. Everything that's put on me and that is put around me is so perfect that I just really show up and say the words. Season one followed, <laughs> can't even say this now seriously, but Midge finding her voice, and I have lost mine. <laughs> and season two looks a little bit more at the ripple effect of how that affects everyone around her, everyone else. We are so fortunate to have incredible costumes designed by Donna Zakowska. Bill Groom does all of our sets. Brilliant writing. By the time we walk onto set, we feel like we've time traveled. We hardly have to do anything no, at all. It's, it's right there. You feel like you're in a time machine. and um, it's I mean, it's incredible. It really is. They, they know what they're doing. People love New York, and it's a, it's its own character in the show, and uh, a different time period. The the, the sets are gorgeous. Uh, it, I mean, the whole show is visually stunning. Uh, the cars, the costumes. I mean, what's not to like? She's just so smart and sharp. She writes great jokes, but she also has a lot of heart. Sorry, <laughs> a lot of heart in each one of these characters. Um, and it, she's so funny. It's so funny and witty and charming and um, and she yeah she's I mean every episode is, is better than the last. We and, get so excited to get each new episode. Yes. Rachel Brosnahan plays Midge. She is just such a phenomenon. Uh, there's something about her presence, her her eyes, her kind of smart really sassy way. Uh, I, I just think she's just sort of endlessly interesting. Oh, it's extraordinary. It challenges the actors. It's fun to do. It feels like we're, uh, you know, we're kind of transported back to that period in such a sort of profound way. And um, it's exhilarating. They just give me all these great gems. It's, it's, uh, it's sort of like, you know, getting that perfect slow pitch with, you know, with a softball and you just can hammer it. It's great. We have 10 episodes instead of eight, so that's a good thing. Um, we do a lot. We get out of the New York more. We go to Paris, we go to the Catskills. I play a doctor uh, named Benjamin um, who uh, Midge uh, meets in the Catskills. Uh, our families are both in the Catskills at the same time, and that's where our worlds collide, and that's about as much as I can say. We all want excellence. We all want excellent movies and excellent television series and excellent food and excellent experiences. And unfortunately, I, I feel like we're often not given that. And so then something like this comes along, and it's just excellent. It's excellent on every level. I mean, the the writing, the directing, the producing, the performances, the uh, art direction, you know, all the department heads, the wardrobe, the, the scenery. I mean, it is done to the nth degree and by a lot of people who genuinely care. And I watched the show and I was like, this is an excellent show. I, and, you know, and by the, you know, yes, the writing is fantastic. Um, and it's, you know, I think, I think very powerful to have a show that's set back in the late 50s, but is speaking to issues that, you know, need to be spoken to now and spoken by such incredible performers. I mean, Rachel is uh, just a tour de force, as is Alex, as is Tony, as is Kevin, as is Caroline, as is Marin, uh, Michael. I mean, you know, they it's an incredible group of people and um, it was really cool to be a part of it all.